going on YouTube? Tub's a little cleaned up, not really much on the outside because it's still all snowy and wet. But cleaned her up a little bit on the interior. She was really bad. So that's nice. Driving around like that for a little bit. Hopefully it stays halfway decent. But another issue, a little mishap we had this week. We got a good old broken wiper blade. So I'm changing those out right now. I'm just going with some uh, some cheapy winter-ish ones for now. What are these? Trico Force? Because I'm going to fuck these ones up. In the winter, I fuck wipers up. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm impatient. I don't like to wait in the morning when it's cold and icy. So we're going to change those out right now. So winter guys are on. And then change them out again in the spring. I don't know if I got, told you guys the story. My WWGF uh, German plate. This is actually straight from Germany. Um, my boy Daily Driven Nation on Instagram. Um, one of his cousins uh, is serving over overseas. So he had that made for me and sent it over. So once again, shout out to uh, Daily Driven Nation and his cousin. Things freaking awesome. Really adds like a nice look, I think, to the car. Let me know what you guys think of the dub without the splitter on front splitter i guess it still looks mean i don't know it just doesn't do it for me like it did though so the next year she should be even more uh status driven here going for a 11 and a half second club this year and uh i'm still going to try to do it without methanol and a tcu tune I'm just going to do it with full bolt-ons and the jv4 and try to claim that record officially um, I am the fastest JB4 worldwide as far as I know right now without running an intercooler or meth or a stack. Um, so I'm happy with that. It's not one of those records where I can officially be on paper, but I'm cool with it. So yeah, that's what we're kind of, uh, we're kind of doing today is just cleaning the dub up, fixing up some minor issues, and then we're going to tackle this wiper delete probably Maybe tomorrow, I'll bring it with me tomorrow. Try to bang that out real quick, shouldn't take too long. We'll show you how to do that, I'll do an install video, so expect that. So, expect to install on a wiper delete, and this vlog this week, and then uh, next week I plan to get a little bit more in depth. We're gonna meet back up with MK6 Jetta, do the uh, first official um, car review for him, rather than just the, uh, like, a, we did like the trailer, so that's the trailer for what I'm going to be doing for the car review. So now we're going to actually do the second review on him now that he's stage two APR, um, also with a cat or a downpipe. So we're going to check that out, and we're going to put it up against the GTI uh, since it is pretty on par with what that's doing. So we'll put them head to head and put them through some uh, some cool things, maybe some launches, some zero to sixties, uh, some twenty rolls, some forty rolls, and see uh, see which one you know takes the cake there. Plus we want to do uh, another, you know, take another look at the GTI now that we have done the dog bone mount and the rear sub or rear strut mount, sorry. So we're going to take another look at those and see how she pulls now with that. I haven't done like an official pull on video to really compare to before those mounts were done. So we'll see if it helped at all with uh, the wheel spin and, and not getting traction. Um, see if it sped it up at all. It does feel like it's putting power down better uh, but like I said, it's still wide open throttle. It's still, the traction is horrendous, uh, to say the least. So, peace out, guys. Keep on dubbing.